Following my uh, postdoctoral studies at the University of Toronto, I was trying to make a decision on what the next step was for my career. And at the time, Chris Goodenow had just set up his large-scale ENU mutagenesis of the mammalian genome to discover new mutations in the genome that affected the immune system. And I think it was this discovery uh, tool that really, again, piqued my interest. Working in immunology, what I like to do is be involved in, in new discoveries. And uh, Chris's group is definitely uh, a large group that, that work almost exclusively on doing that. I've been uh, establishing a group for the last several years and one of the key areas that we've set up is, is a, a joint centre with the Chinese, which we call the China Australia Centre for Phenomics Research. And that comes under Chris's broad immunogenomics lab. Our research is really to discover alterations or mutations in the genome code that affect the immune system with a special emphasis on trying to understand different viral infections, uh, including influenza virus and also trying to get a handle on some of these chronic infections such as hepatitis B virus, which is a big issue in China. So this centre was opened in the end of 2008 by the Vice-Chancellor of the ANU and the President of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It was one of two large joint centres that were funded by the Chinese government and the Australian government at the time. It involves uh, myself as the Australian Director here at the, the John Curtin School of Medical Research uh, with Professor Hong Tang, who is the Director of the Centre for Infection and Immunity at the Institute of Biophysics in the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing. So we meet twice a year and to discuss projects and exchange ideas around new discoveries in the immune system. One of the other benefits of being involved in the China Australia Centre for Phenomics Research is that we have access to BGI, which is a large scale next generation genome sequencing uh, facility in Shenzhen in China. And so we've set up a collaboration with them to do some large scale uh, sequencing. And this has proven to be a very positive collaboration for us in terms of uh, fast turnaround times for the mutation detection work that we do. China's really investing very heavily in their research at the moment, so they're putting in a lot of money, building a lot of new buildings and infrastructure, and recruiting a lot of top scientists back to their country to lead, lead the charge. And so they're, all, they're on a, a very big growth curve for um, research and research investment. And the thing about China is they have a lot of people and a lot of people power, and uh, so they'll benefit from that, and we'll benefit from that in our collaboration and we've had a number of their staff come and spend time here at the John Curtin School. And in the future we're looking to set up a binational laboratory with them to make it a, a true um, joint centre in that respect.